Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. This is George Conley with Scratch Golf Tips with a new video. Today we're gonna to be talking about lag putting. We're gonna be talking about more specifically how you can actively work on your lag putting and how you can practice it best. So before we get into the few different drills that I do, the first thing I do before I get into any kind of drills is I just roll a few lag putts um, without any real motive. I'm just trying to get a feel over the ball, feel over the putter, feel of the greens, and maybe look at the slope of the green. This is something that I do in all of my practice that a lot of you have probably seen. Um, it's just a way to get yourself familiar. You don't want to jump right into drills if you haven't rolled any putts yet. So I just start off by rolling six or nine uh, long putts to start off before drills. So the first drill here is just a 3T drill that uh, I'm showing head on here. Uh, you just put a T equidistant from the front and back uh, from the middle of your putting stroke. And basically what this is going to allow for is control of the stroke length. So there's a stroke that goes from T to T. Uh, it's going to have you be equidistant uh, back and through the ball. Uh, and you can see there just some demonstrations of a quick uh, stroke or a stroke that's too long. So this is just a way to keep your whole swing uh, connected and in tune throughout the entire stroke. So now I just set it up uh, on a different angle. This is a down the line angle. And this is a great way to control distance because with your putter, you don't want to be taking it back really quickly and really short and then going very long through the ball. Now there is such thing as a pop stroke. And a pop stroke is when you take the club back a little bit shorter and then accelerate more through the ball, but that's not what we're working on here. Basically what we're working on is not getting too long and not getting too short or fast. So not only does this help with the length of your putting stroke, which a lot of people uh, go way too long on a lag putt, but it also affects the tempo and positively affects the tempo because if you see those barriers on either side of your putting stroke, you're gonna have a great feel for your uh, swing rhythm, your, your putting stroke rhythm with these long putts, which is super helpful. So I'm just gonna do three more here for six total. You can do however many you want. If you feel like this drill really helps you, then do a lot more. If you feel like it's something you already have down pat, then you can uh, not do it as many times as someone who does not have it down. But um, it's also important to not focus too much on looking at the tees. Uh, so it might be good to record it from a caddy view because you don't wanna be looking at the tees when you're hitting your putting stroke because obviously you may not hit great putts. So uh, just be mindful of that throughout doing this drill and work on your stroke length. All right, so here we're just gonna hit our last putt with the 3T drill. And uh, now we're all set with that. So what I'm gonna be working on here now is I'm gonna read the green from a few different angles. Now a lot of a lot of uh, amateurs don't consider, you know, when you hit a 30 plus foot lag putt, that putt likely isn't going to go in the hole. Thus meaning you're going to have a second putt after. So it's important to not only read the lag putt, but also read the green right around the hole so you can figure out where you want to hit your second putt from. So now in my reading of that green, I figure I want to be right around pin high left um, I want to be missing this a little bit low because that low putt um, is going to be putting uphill and fairly straight. If I leave the ball right and I leave it high on the hole, it's going to be downhill and a little bit too slopey for my liking. So it's much more beneficial and I'm going to hit many more two putts if I'm low. Frankly, for, for this pin, uh, I'd rather be five feet left than three feet right, just because that right foot putt is uh, it's, it's a little bit too difficult. So now what I'm going through is I'm just playing a little, I'm, I'm playing normally here, no no tees, no, no, nothing on my mind except lagging the ball up there. Uh, the only difference here is I'm gonna be putting everything out. Now the great part about putting everything out is not only are you gonna get a great feel of your lag putts, but you're also gonna get a decent amount of short putts, especially short putts from ranging distances, ranging uh, slopes. So uh, lag putting is a great way to actually work on everything in your putting game. Now, uh, as I like to do in a lot of these practice videos, uh, there's a few ways that you can track this. And what I like to do uh, numerically to track it is basically just play all of these lag putts as a par two and just try and make your two putts. And maybe if you could sneak in uh, a one putt, a long holdout putt, then that would be a birdie. But you don't want to be making any bogeys. In this case, a bogey would be a three putt. 
So maybe after you've uh, done your little warm-ups and then you've used that 3T drill, and then once you've read the green, maybe play 18 holes of this little lag putting game. See if you can play it a few under par, because in theory, if you're playing 18 holes, uh, 18 lag putts under par, that means you're either not three putting at all and you're making a few or you're maybe three putting once or twice and you're making a lot of them so uh, try and just play 18 of these and see how you play and then once you practice it once you'll know that number and then you can go back to the green later continue practicing and see if you can get that number lower now I should also add that uh, all the putts that I'm hitting here are from the same angle to the same pin and that's just for the sake of filming the video but if you're going to practice lag putts for 30 minutes, it probably isn't wise to just continue lag putting to the same pin every single time. Because after a while, you'll just have great feel for it and you'll have great read of the break. And that's not something that you'll have on the course because you're not hitting putts over the same putt over and over again on the course. So uh, maybe just hit a few putts at one hole, one pin spot and uh, from one angle and then continuously switch it up. One thing that I like to do a lot uh, when I'm practicing any length of putts, whether it be five foot putts, 10 foot lag putts, whatever it is, is I will just throw a ball down on the green. I'll just pick a pin at random on the practice putting green, and then I'll go through my entire pre-putt routine. I will mark the ball, pick the ball up, clean it off, and then I'll walk around the green and uh, get my read. I'll put the ball down, I'll, I'll line up my, my marking on the ball, and then I'll go through my pre-putt routine and sink the putt, hopefully. And if I do or if I don't, I move on to the next one. And this just helps you go through the routine, not get too used to putts, and continuously see and give yourself different looks. So that's one way that you can apply, uh, you can apply that mentality, that practice mentality to lag putting. And I'm sure that'll help you get a better read on how to read putts, how to uh, get distance control, and how to just make more two putts from these long distances. And speaking of distances, when you're practicing these lag putts, distance control is key over everything. Because if, you, if you're missing a ball four feet off line, uh, four feet off line for a putt is not good. But if you hit that pin high, then you'll just be four feet away and that's perfectly manageable. So you really want to be focusing on hitting these pin high, getting them within, you know, a foot of the hole in terms of distance. Um, that's going to be very helpful for you and make your job so much easier on those uh, second putts to have a lot of short ones you don't even have to think about. So like everything else in golf, meaningful practice and consistent practice is what is going to help you improve, especially on uh, putting and chipping, which is just so feel based. So if you could use this a little bit uh, for your lag putting, just be sure to focus on the lag putting because three putts are so detrimental to our scores. And uh, you can obviously do this anytime you're at the putting green. It's important to focus on the short putts, also important to focus on the long ones. So if you have any questions on things that I mentioned or failed to mention, leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I hope you learned something in today's video. Thank you very much for watching everybody. Play well and take care.